Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I want to give a shout out to two people who bought me cups of coffee. Thank you so much. Yeah, I live on coffee. Um, they say it's good for memory. And it keeps me going. There was a magnitude 6.7 to a 6.5 earthquake. Not far off the coast of Papua New Guinea. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. And there is a buoy going off showing a very small tsunami of maybe about 8 inches. Let me close this out. And I'll show you right there. That's the only one currently going off. Um, EMSC says tsunami warning is pending. So here's the uh, felt reports. This location by Weewok. Uh, intensity level 5. Which means it was felt by most people. There would have been some breakage of dishes. Maybe windows. Plaster in the wall. Disturbance of tall objects sending prayers to people there this is fairly large this was a thrust earthquake you can see how the fault moved going east and then it actually rose up yeah this area is known for large earthquakes here you can see drawn out in yellow that is the south bismarck sea okay this trench along here that you can see in the darker color that is the North Bismarck Fault. And what we got going on is the Pacific Plate up over here to the top right. Uh, moving into this direction, going southwest. We also have the Australian Plate down here, moving north um, east. But this looks like mostly all the uh, motion was created by... Um, the North Bismarck Plate up over here and the Pacific Plate yeah putting pressure down here you can see there's been other large earthquakes within this area uh, many 7.0 or greater we got a 7.2 um, that one was on April of this year then in 1998 there was a 7.0 over 2,700 people died during that earthquake. Here's the earthquake signature as it came in at Antarctica. This here is the Philippines. You can see it came in first over here on the right and then got stronger and stronger and yeah, on the left. This here is the signature as it came in there in Australia. See that? The Mariana Islands. Hawaii, even Russia. This monitor here is for the Marble Bar in Australia. The Aleutian Islands there in Alaska. And for those of you who are wondering if it was registered at Yellowstone, yes it was. This here is a Madison River uh, monitor. I don't see it on the other ones, but it did shake up the Madison River. And I talked about this area. This is the area when Yellowstone last decided to erupt. This is where it occurred. I downloaded just that signature there. You can see how we got the waves of the signature moving across and how deep it is and the uh, gases that was released going up. See how the waves went up and down and it coincides with the signature here on the uh, spectrogram. So this is where it started, and I'll just move it across. You can see, yeah, how it just kind of continued in waves, and it grew in waves. Look at that. Let me go to the spectrogram again. All right, let me move across. Yeah, we got more gases and heated water right there. And we'll come across. Yeah, look at that. So these large earthquakes, even though this one was very shallow, only 6.7 miles in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Yeah, you can see how it shook up Yellowstone. Very concerning. Let's take a look at the camera. Not bad. It's been showing um, some signs of heat earlier today. 
you can see here how it's a little gray but doesn't look bad oh they're gonna zoom into one of the geysers okay all right Twenty two forty was the time when it was shaking Yellowstone the most. So I'll bring it over to that time. Uh, oops, went off the line. I'm sorry. Yeah, right in there. I haven't heard any reports. I don't see anything on Twitter about um, this one area that reported the possible damage right there let's i wonder if google earth ever their little car ever went in that area let's see supposedly there is damage let's see what kind of structures they might have yeah. no the google earth car never went there so i don't know anyway sending prayers to everybody there thank you very much for watching thank you again for the cups of coffee please always stay safe be prepared, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.